the name Fulani was being originated from shameful people, people that have no care with criminals, that have no association, that have no relation with criminals. How will Fulani man or Fulani as a tribe should be associated with criminals? I say not to this. Not because I'm a Fulani, it's because of what I have read and what I have saw with my eyes and what I read from myself. Uh, this white man, before handing over the country to Nigerians, that is uh, uh, before independence, that is 1960, they handed over this to our great Fulani man, who is from Bochi State, which is uh, Abubakar Tefa Balea, as a northern uh, prime minister. If not, they have assured of his behavior and his attitude and his peace loving. How will they do that? So, Fulani peoples are not criminals. If at all there would be a criminal in every tribe, then Fulani also have it. Then thou cannot generalize the name of Fulani as criminals. That is one. Two, I say uh, some of the issues, challenges are coming out from our securities. Let me just open up. Let me start an example with Nasrallah State. There are some policemen that can just uh, have a wrong information and the information will move to different persons before you know. Even inside the town, someone that have no front and back, let me just use it as translating in Hausa, maybe before you know they will arrest him. Why for? Before you know they say pay 50,000, pay 100,000, pay this and that. These are some talent we are having. See, gold is not biting, but when you push the gold to the end, I'm telling you, it will turn back and bite you. And that way the crisis will, 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 will start. So, as far as I'm not criminal, but the way security are pushing them, police people, they know the actual person. See, I was, I can remember one statement from Abacha, our, our former president. He said, wherever a criminal act happened in a place, if within 24 hours those criminals were not identified, there will be a security or common interest in that criminal. How will a criminal act will happen in an area, for instance, here? The security will not know. Kariani is a lie. See, we have a machine or uh, an instrument that we can you can normally identify. Here we have maybe a petroleum under under the ground. Maybe how many miles or how many kilometers away from the surface of the ground? We can you know, we have petroleum here. We have diesel. We have this and that. All these mineral salt that are under the ground. We can demand the but we don't have a machine or an instrument that can identify criminal in the bush. How dark is the bush more than the, the earth we had been marching on? It's a lie. Security, let them stand up and do their job. Simple as every city. That's why they were employed and they promised to do that. Being you a Fulani, being you a Igbo, being you a Yoruba, whoever tribe you be, if you are a security man, you belong to everybody and you belong to nobody. You are there for criminals, wherever he come from, irrespective of his tribe and his religions. Uh, thirdly, I said some of the non-governmental organizations, sincerely speaking, some in one way or the other, either directly or indirectly, they have associated, they have been sponsoring some of these things that is happening. Imagine, let me start as, as I said it earlier, like in Meduguri, an organization is not most sorry, I cannot mention the name, but an organization was being discovered with the name of helping the IDPs people. Not knowing that they were passing out, they were moving out with the, with the weapons in their cars. They will move. Wee, 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 wee. Before you know, it's they, are, they, are being, they, are being, they are being going on with, with, with some weapons. They were being moving with weapons. You'll be surprised. An organization that comes away from outside the country, either from American or from German or from any other foreign, these foreign NGOs. So please, governments should do all possible and be vigilant on this non-governmental organizations then fourthly lack of Fulani unities of course I'm a Fulani and I can say it and in any tribe in any house they have this for instance due to some either ignorance or act of sympathy let me just because it's not sympathy actually but they use it as part of sympathy when my child committed an act I will try to do all possible let me just cover this my child now let me cover him that is not the right thing Someone mentioned this in the meeting. 
that an RO in one settlement or in one LGA of Nasara State in Kiana, when he identified his child was criminal, he called on the security, he is my child and he is a criminal. Please kill him and kill him. Then that is all. If you are not there to allow people to sleep, how will you sleep? Any child that doesn't respect his parent to sleep, he will also not sleep. So, and, and a Koro man, a Koro, that is Mingli from Nasar State also, or local government. A big man, a retired policeman, when he was his child was criminal, he handed over him to security. And they have dealt with him and killed him. And that is the end. So, please, our Fulani, be you a chairman, be you a RO, be you all positions. Please, if you know you have criminal within your settlement, within your Ruga, please fish out those people and hand them over to security for proper treatment. Please, they need treatment and security will treat them. And security are ready to treat them. But don't identify person that has no relation with criminals. So I'm calling on our leaders. Please, let's, if you know someone is criminal, please fetch him out. Then, uh, lastly, there is political issues. Our politicians of these days, they are not helping the matters, rather destroying the matters at all. Because I see no reason why, I, if I can aspire for a House of Assembly, or national, or state, or senate, or president, or governor, or irrespective of the positions, if I cannot win that, if I cannot be able to convince my people to vote for me based on my transparency and peace-loving uh, leader who I want to be, then why can I relate with myself with criminals? Let me just get criminals. They should come and destroy these person peoples and kill them so that I can get to the power. If you get to the power, you kill people before you get into the power. How will you enjoy the seat? I say no to this. Please, politicians, correct how you roll your politics. Take note of it. And please, let's be a peace-loving country, members. Please, thank you very much.